I have been invited here to try out some uh, 3D printed food. This is uh, food that is designed to help people with dysphagia, that swallowing problems, have more enjoyable meals. We normally don't get invited to try food being printed quite often. This must be the first time. So uh, we're excited to share with you what, what it's like. the canister. I'll make sure that it's got no air bubbles but basically to start with you just have to load it up. It has to meet the texture requirements of a puree and that's the International Dysphagia Diet Standardisation Initiative level four for a puree. When it meets that standard it's safe for people who need that type of food to eat. So I'm just pressing it through to see that it's coming through okay with no air bubbles. Now would you like to place it in the in Let's the door. go for it, yeah. Just pop it there with that at the front. Um, I guess this is the special training that um, yeah. we're talking about. <laughs> okay, so it that's in there. Like that. yeah. That's fine. Let's now it's time to choose your shape. You can scroll down to see a variety of shapes. Look at that. But I suggest that we print one that's more standard, okay, if you yeah. like. So the uh, flower tower. Well, let's, let's go with the flower tower. When you have the five canisters there, is this because you might want to make a full meal uh, yeah. that has a variety of ingredients? And... Well, some of the designs yeah. have more than one food item in them. Uh -huh. in them. So yes, you can have, say, the mashed potato in one and the pureed chicken in the other. You can fill five of them, but they have different size nozzles. And the very tiny size, it's hard to get the puree through. To come through. It has to be quite runny. Is... So it doesn't hold it doesn't hold its shape once it goes through. So let's see how this one looks when it's finished. And then you can have a taste if you'd like. See what it's like. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, don't feel like I've just uh, gone and got a tub of avocado dip. Yeah, and... yeah. It doesn't have the grittiness of like a normal puree, and it's smoother. Smooth. It's very smooth. I, I would argue like the flavor is stronger. You mentioned like during our conversation something about Star Trek. Yeah, I was just about to say a lot a of people book. say this is just this is like futuristic, just like out of Star Trek. How far do you think this technology could develop? I think it needs to go a long way. This might give people an example, but we need to go work together with engineers, speech pathologists, people with trouble swallowing, working together to co-design a machine that will do exactly what's needed. What are some of the problems that you see uh, requiring solutions? Like, what do you want to um, see? Well, things, things like I've shown you, the usability of it, the responsiveness of the machine when you, when you do tell it what to do, having a voice interface, right. telling it what you want. Um, having pre-filled cartridges where you don't have to do the fiddly work. I, th I think that's one thing, making it more user-friendly and giving the user feedback, a sort of smart interactive device that will give the user feedback, give them some help, give them tips um, and, and basically a, a machine that will be able to print many different things at the same time.